Adam here with Wholesale Septic Supply. Uh, this is a Niatic system. They're all the same size. Doesn't matter if it's uh, from 500 gallons per day to 1500 per gallons per day. They're all a cone system like this. So this system in particular, they have a system, uh, it's called the Evolution, where it's an all-in-one. The Niatic alone is generally a, uh, sometimes it's a one tank, but generally in Texas, it's a three tank system. So you have a trash tank, the aerobic unit, and the pump tank. So also on systems like this that are uh, three tanks and individually set up, they're in succession like this too. A lot of people, they don't know where this tank is because there's no risers on them and it's buried. And they're like, I can see these two tanks, but I don't know where that trash tank is. Generally, it's not gonna be far from this tank. It's gonna be generally behind. If you can see this tank and you can see this tank, the other tank is right behind it. Uh, and the reason they're not gonna put it 20 feet away is pipe is expensive. This tank would have to be deeper. There's multiple reasons why it's not gonna be too far of a distance away. Now, on new installs, a riser has to be put on. And generally it's gonna be on that one because you're having your, you know, your septic's coming in from your house. A lot of the backups happen right in actually this area here. So the riser is put on this to give you easy access to then snake back to the house and unclog things. Um, and like uh, Poor Pumper Society will show, a lot of the clogs happen right here. They don't happen back there. It's either back there or right here. They never really happen on this side going to the aerobic chamber. Uh, it's very rare. I mean, I i don't think I've ever seen it. I, I used to, when I was pumping, I've never seen it. I've done thousands of tanks. So um, that's where the risers are set up. There's real no real need to access anything here when you're pumping out. So uh, you have little access ports here. Both, all the tanks now should have two access ports. They'll have one on this side for the inlet, one on this side for the outlet. Uh, that's really common. Goes into here. The reason that these are really nice is because you can clean everything out. When you stick the hose in here, on this model it's not on here, but these there's big slits down here. And you can get the hose all the way down here, or you can lift this, when you have the hose in there, you can undo this here. There's a fitting here. You can pull this out and stick the hose straight down to the bottom. And because of the shape, all the water and all the solids settle at the bottom and it's really easy to clean out. So pumpers like them, uh, maintenance providers like them. They're easy to work on. You can see everything that's going on. There's no mystery. Uh, so it's, it's, it's really good. It goes from here. So when the septic comes into this middle chamber, it doesn't come to the outside. It's getting stirred up in this middle chamber. The diffuser stops about right here, okay? Th this has holes in it, so the it, over time, it's, it's a hydraulic calculation. You have waste that is then coming down here and it goes up the sidewall where there's no action going on. The water's very still here. The solids settle out and they get brought back up, so it's all been engineered to run like this comes out and then it goes up this weir. So it's important when these are installed that they're very level. It's important that all systems are very level. We've seen some stuff that's, I don't, we don't know how it passed, but it did. Uh, goes in this weir, so water runs all the way around this weir. Then it goes into this pipe right here and out to the pump tank. So, and then from here it gets either sprayed, uh, pumped into leach ch chambers. Uh, there's, all, there's all kinds of ways to get rid of the effluent. Sometimes there is no pump tank. You just have this, this, uh, no pump tank, and it goes into field. That's very common up north, not common in Texas. I've actually never seen it in Texas. These particular systems can also be installed with no trash tank. We do not recommend that, okay? You'll be cleaning that thing out every two, three years, and you will not like that. You put a trash tank on there, you can go for a longer period of time. You'll actually have, actually have cleaner effluent as well. It uh, just won't build up as fast. You won't have as much solids build up in the in the aerobic chamber. Uh, it won't have to be cleaned out as much. You, you just have there's there's a lot of benefits for a period of time of having an anaerobic process before it goes to an aerobic process before then it goes to the pump tank. So uh, it's not much more to do this. We will not install these without a trash tank. It can be done. But we just don't do it. Um, that's pretty much it. It's a great system. It's 600 gallons to do 500 gallons. It's the smallest water total holding capacity system I think out there. 
and I, and I might be incorrect about that, but it's 600 gallons on an M600 to treat 500 gallons. Most of your systems are, you know, aerobic area 700 gallons with a clarifying area of 150, 200 to treat 500 gallons. It, it varies, but uh, it's a very well engineered system. They're fantastic. Um, that's it. Some of the things you'll want to look out on on a install on these. When you're when we when we install a system, uh, not us, but our you know sister company does a system. Uh, some of the things that happen are uh, on a Niatic you can't do it because this cone here you have to get in there and you have to balance this so you can get all this level so the water runs correctly. We'll dig one hole for this tank here, then we'll cover this back up and we'll pack the earth around it. And then we'll cover it a little bit past this opening here on this hole. Then we'll start digging for the second hole. You want some separation in between the tanks because if anything goes wrong, it just makes it easier to work on and fix. Now you shouldn't have to do that, but the issue that we've seen is, and it's mostly with, uh, I would say installs that are not digging separate holes, they're digging one hole, putting everything in the ground, then they're backfilling it. And there's, there's problems with that process. So <clears throat> um, once that's done, then we dig this hole, put this in the ground, then we pack all this dirt, and then we hand dig in between here. It takes about 10 minutes. <laughs> Same thing with this process on this third tank. It takes a little bit longer. That's why not so many people are installing these. The all-in-ones, you can just slap them in the ground and you're done. You don't, have to, you don't have to do all that. There is benefits to these because you can get in a lot tighter spots with a single type installation system. Uh, a lot The big rigs can't get, they have huge cranes on them. They can't get in the backyard. So there's a lot of uh, need for this type of system out there where the all-in-ones can't go in and you can get into tighter spots with these. But it's important that that's done. So you, you want them individually dug and, and put in, and that's on any three tank system. So we'll, we'll go over that on other systems as well, what we typically see uh, on an install that is not done correctly over the years. It doesn't happen right away. You run into the problem about six, seven years later, uh, and we run into it all the time, and it's not a cheap fix. And the, a lot of the time, the problem is the tanks are really close to each other and it doesn't give us a lot of room to work and the problem is the installers don't do maintenance work so they don't care uh, and that becomes an issue so uh, if you guys have any questions or comments on installs or uh, you want more videos on this model or you want some more explanations we'll be happy to give them to you you can see that that you know there's a little diffuser in the bottom that's what that looks like um this is stuck on there right now but uh that's basically it so if you guys have questions or comments ask them uh and we'll be happy to answer them hope you have a great day remember to like and subscribe